Hello everybody, welcome back. Ooh, this is Mystic Games. Sorry about that, that was a little bit of an accident there. Well, today we're going to be talking about the factions themselves. So, I want to do a video talking kind of factions, which faction I think are the best. I'll do kind of a brief overview of each faction in this video about what their strong points are, what their, you know, tags are, like what they use for you know, winning fights and how they're kind of built around each other. Um, this is going to be my personal opinion. I'm not going to go each champion because obviously champions do affect the strength of the faction. The better champions you have, the better generally the faction plays. Although I would argue that the Meowtons have some common um, champions that are actually really strong. Um, so let's just jump right into it. We're gonna go with the Woofians. We'll go with, well, actually, we'll go in order right here. So the Meowtons, they're all about charging, stunning, um, and hiding. Those are kind of their tags. Not that the other factions don't use them or cannot use them, that's just what they are about um, in a basic sense. Their mutations are about copying and controlling the enemy minions to attack themselves, to you know take control of them for a turn, to copy their their mutations, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then they're also to buff up their champion's attack permanently. Um, the Meowtons have quite a few different ways to play. Um, interesting, cool faction. The Woofians. The Woofians are all about buffing up the board. Um, they want to make a minion on the board, then make that minion bigger, and make that minion bigger, and make that minion bigger. Um, there's a couple play styles you can either just go for straight up I have small minions but they don't really do much they're to buy me time and then I have a lot of big minions that I'm going to use mutations and buff or you can go the route of I'm going to just buff everything from the base level and do everything in my power to keep my board state strong at all times um but that's pretty much the Woofians game they don't have I would argue that Defender is one of their tra their tags, but I don't think it specifically is like a big part of their identity. Um, for the Sinister, they are all about lethal. They are all about drawing cards, um, and they have Morph as well, which is the trading of attack and health stats every turn. Um, very, very strong board control, in a sense. But yeah, that's pretty much what they're about. And then you have the Pipsqueaks, which are about swarming, which is actually their tag as well. It's just drop as many minions, as generally small minions on the board, make as many as possible, and then run face into the um, enemy champion. They also have food and... They're, they're essentially the food controllers, so they control mana or food, whatever you want to call it. It's called food in this game, but it's, you know, mana in other games or whatever resource you use to fuel your decks. Um, they have a lot of cards to control the cost of the enemy cards, which I think is very strong. I would actually argue that's a better way to play than using the swarm that they have. But they are a solid faction as well. So... I'm going to do in order who I think are the strongest overall faction, and I'm going to explain why. I'm going to start with mutations for each faction. Um, I think Woofians are the weakest mutations. I think their mutations don't really help them in the sense of the other mutations that are had for um, everyone else. Their faction's all about buffing up themselves. The issue is there's so many ways to deal with minions that you can essentially um, cancel out their a lot of their mutations with just basic cards from the other factions. I would argue mutation wise Woofians are some of the weakest um, cards. I will say that on the flip of that, I believe that they have strong, some of the strongest actual um, minions in the game. So I would say their mutations are weak in their um, minions are strong, especially their legendary minions. They have Phoenix, which is one of my favorite cards. You guys will see it in like every video. Uh, 
I use him in my playthroughs. Awesome minion. Just good card to have. Um, Bark Angel's really good. Just put hiding on that baby and it hides and just buffs up the board. Um, Phoenix allows you to keep control of the board. So, they have very strong minion synergies. Whereas... I feel like minion-wise, they're, they're high, mutations are low. The Meowtons are one of the most annoying factions because of their um, mutations. I'm trying to think where I would put them versus the other two. I think, I think Meowtons are probably one of the strongest factions. Mutations are probably number one. Um... Because uh, because they just have so much control over the enemy, it, it, it's it's hard to say because it's between them and Pipsqueaks for me. But I would say they have some of the best mutations in the game. Um, they can really mess you up, and they can essentially just take some of your best minions away from you. Um, so they're very annoying to fight against if you don't know what their mutations are. Um, that being said, I think their minions are okay. I would say their minions are average. I think they have a couple good minions, but overall they're average. So for Sinister, their mutations are probably better. They're better than Woofian, I would say, but they're worse than Meowints and Pipsqueaks. And I'm not saying they don't have any good mutations, but I'm saying overall the options you have for Pipsqueaks and Meowints are going to be better than they are for um, the Sinister faction. Their minions, on the other hand, are not that great. Um, they have lethal, though. And because they have lethal, that makes them better. But you're relying a lot on lethal with this faction. If you just... You need to have good trades, and then you need to... They don't have enough good minions, I feel like, with the morph minions to completely dominate the enemy. Um, they're a very fickle faction. I think they're one of the weakest in overall sense. Like, they're the, probably one of the most annoying to face. But they are not... I wouldn't say they're that strong. You then have Pipsqueaks that have... For personal mutations, they are number one. For mutations overall, I think they're in second place. Because I think the Meowins controlling the enemy mutations are stronger than the Pipsqueak mutations in general um especially in in um single player i would say that their mutations are better than me the meowtons when you're playing gauntlet i would say the meowtons are probably better than pipsqueak um because you have more control over the enemy which is kind of better i feel like in uh, when you don't have a perfect deck like you do in, when you're playing through campaign so, their minions are very strong. Um, I think their minions are probably next to the most powerful, if not the most powerful, because of food control buffs that they get on them. Um, I would actually, you know what, I actually think they're stronger than the Woofians overall. I don't think their legendaries are better than the Woofians, but I think their, their actual like basic minions are actually pretty strong pretty good comparatively anyway so let me do my final analysis that was probably a little confusing so if I were to look at each, each faction with what I just said because obviously minions and the mutations are the main thing and then champions do have an effect um, which I'm trying to think of the champions for them these guys do have a really the brood is really strong like their final champion Cupid's really probably their best champion they have a lot of options. I actually like Queasy for the Woofians, but I would argue that Bad Dog is probably better um, than Queasy generally. Um, and then for the Meowtons, they have they actually have like four solid champion choices that you can use. Anyways. Taking every factor into account, if I were to rank these factions, I'm looking at the basic ones, but you obviously have you know the middle tier ones here too. If you were to look at these factions for what they're worth, 
And again, I think they are, they're all good. Like each play, you know, someone's gonna probably watch this that played the game and be like, no, that faction's way better than you're making it out. But if I were to rate them, I would say the Sinister faction is probably the worst faction. Um, like for consistency overall, for mutations, minions, and even leaders, I don't think they're that good. Um, I would then probably... I would have to say Woofian, because their mutations, I think, are so bad overall that it makes them less useful. Because the issue with them is, like, I would consider these guys weaker, but they actually strongly counter the Woofians because of their lethality. And you might be like, well, that makes them better. No, these guys can actually kill them before they can really get, you know... You can buff up your board pretty good if you keep it behind a defender and still kill this guy. It's just they have a lot of ability to counter this, which is annoying because you'll be building something up and then it just gets two lethals on the board, kills your board, and you're back to square zero. But he's at square zero too, so he just never really gains um, board advantage. So I would say that it goes Sinister is the weakest, then Woofian probably, and that's you know, champions that's taking everything into account. And then it comes to Pipsqueak versus Meowtons. This one's really hard, guys. I would actually probably say Meowtons are second place, and then you have Pipsqueaks in first. Um, I think these two have the ability to be extremely powerful. I think consistency-wise, I would have to say that it's Pipsqueaks just because I think they are the most consistent. Um, comparatively to the Meowants. But it's 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 hard because even in Gauntlet, like they both kind of have good ways to deal with the enemies. Whereas um, these two, personally for me as of right now, with at least what, what I've unlocked so far, it's very difficult to do Gauntlet. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna go best is Pipsqueak, second best is Meowtons, third is Woofians, and fourth is Sinister. So those are my thoughts on the factions overall. I've played them all through in campaign. I played them all a little bit in the um, Gauntlet. Um, I've had the most success with Pipsqueak in Gauntlet. I've had a lot of fun with Woofian in Gauntlet, um, and I've had some fun with these guys in Gauntlet. I'm not a big fan of. I like this faction. I think they require stickers to be good, though. And in Gauntlet, where I don't get to choose things, um, I don't think they're the, a very good faction, to be honest. Anyways, I hope you guys you know, enjoyed my little analysis of all the factions. I hope you guys check this game out. Um, it's cheap. It's an indie game. And when it goes on sale, it's even cheaper. And it's just a solid game. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I think you guys can do a couple playthroughs. I think I put like 80 hours into this game. Um, I would say probably the campaign, beating it four times, running every deck, um, probably took me probably 10 hours a piece. I, mean, I shouldn't say that. It probably took me 10 hours for the first one, then like eight. And then I think the third one I was taking notes because I want to make a walkthrough for everybody, so that one probably took me 10. But the last one I did with Sinisters, I think, took me like five hours. Because I know exactly what I need to do for everything. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy um, these videos. I do plan on making a kind of a review for this game. Because that's pretty much the final video that I'm going to be doing. I don't think I'm going to end up doing a video on the... Let me, I can actually show you guys right now. I don't think I'm going to do a video on the... Oh, I thought there was a deck with it. Apparently not. I'm not going to be doing a video of the Out of the Time expansion. Um, I did play it, and I beat it, and it was fun. I did a walkthrough. I actually mapped this all out, too. This was actually really enjoyable, the Out of Time. Um, I highly recommend this game. I'm going to do a review, like, specifically breaking down everything, but I, I do think this is a good game. It's worth the money that you're paying for it, for sure. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Mystic Games. Like, subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. And I'm going to go play some Hades, too, I think. All right. Later, guys.